10,000. 10,000 people. I cannot believe that that many of you have subscribed to the channel. I, it's an, I can't even imagine that many people on the planet just in a given moment even. So I want to appreciate and thank all of you today by answering some of your questions. So let's get right into it. Let's start with sketch it in a hat. They are asking, I got a question for your Q&A maybe. What's your favorite instrument? It could be some sort of percussion instrument, woodwind instrument, brass instrument, anything of the sorts. My favorite instrument is probably going to be I'm really torn between a synth, like a keyboard synth and an electrical guitar, because we all know electrical guitars are extremely badass. So I think I'm just going to have to go electric guitar at this point because you could do so much with it. And it's just such a tough instrument to learn, in my opinion, at least anyway. Burial Green Slime and Chicken Finger 50 have both asked, would you rather have unlimited bacon but no games or games unlimited games but no games i don't understand the second half of that but you know how much i love my bacon but no games means no channel so i'm very torn i'm very torn i could live without bacon i think i could live without bacon but games i need i need games in my life to survive Daniel Lunch says, why are you handsome? Real question, do you have plans to do collab reviews? Actually, yes, I'm open to do collabs. Uh, I have a few people in mind. Azarus, namely, Azarus. Artemi, I'm looking at you. I'm down to collab. Again, it's, it's very tough because we have to match uh, the schedules together. We all have kind of our own schedules going on, so we're going to have to sort something out if we want to collab and it's kind of like it's kind of an arduous process if you will nista potty man all of these guys man all of these guys that are big in the community i'd love to just collab and make videos with them wisp free abyss asks three questions so hey nori congrats on 10k subscribers no thank you guys for supporting me this entire time here are my questions how did you get introduced to Incredibox and its modern community? What is your favorite music genre? Are you going to do any scratch mods again in the future? Okay, so I'm going to answer them very briefly because there are three questions. Uh, so what introduced me to Incredibox was I Show Speed. I Show Speed played, uh, I think it was Dystopia. And I was like, wait, this slaps. I need to give this a try. So I downloaded Incredibox. Um, I think I even decided to stream it at that one point, and then I just booted up the stream. I went through every single version that's in the game, and then that was it. And I and the video just blew up. It got I think it got 50k views or something like that initially. And I was like, wait, it, this actually has quite a fan base going on. So maybe I could be a part of this community and you know try and try and help out in any way I can. Mods. I found out through actually armed because I found this random YouTube video got suggested to me, which was for Incredibox armed. And I was like, wait, this looks really cool. I didn't know there were mods for Incredibox. And then the whole rabbit hole just spiraled out of there. Now I just cover mainly mods on the channel. So yeah, that's how I found the modding community. And that's how I found Incredibox. My favorite music genre at the moment. I'm not very good at naming genres, but I like very depressing music as of recently. Um, I listened to uh, the most recent song that I've liked that I've listened to is Billie Eilish Wildflower and the uh, Chee Hero. So I, I really enjoyed both of those. Am I going? Am I going to do any scratch mods again in the future? Yes. But the issue is I only post Incredibox now once a week. I post every single Wednesday, or at least try to post every single Wednesday for all of you. So that basically means that the backlog of like original mods to cover just keeps on growing. As you've seen, Other Side came out, The Pit came out, Vibin came out, Hookers came out. All these mods came out, so they've kind of accumulated the list more than I can make the videos. So and scratches all the way at the back of all of that. So 
You might not see Scratch in the near future, but if we ever run out of mods, I will go back to Scratch, like original mods. Half is here, ask, what is my future plan for this channel? Do you watch anime? If you do, what's your favorite? What character do you like to draw the most? I know this question is a bit weird, just like the commenter of his comment, but Fern from uh, Free Run, smash or pass. All right, so my future plan from this channel is I would love to eventually move on and do variety um, horror because I love horror games. That's what I'm all about. I love the adrenaline rush I get when I play a horror game. That's good. You, you can really feel your heart beating. You're in that moment. Um, I just I just love that moment in horror games in general. So that's kind of the direction I want to go in eventually and just main horror stuff. Just be a horror channel. And hopefully I do get there eventually. Hopefully I do get there eventually. Incredibox is a means for me to kind of give back to you guys in that sense at the moment. You watch anime. If you do, what's your favorite? My favorite anime, like hands down as of recently, it's Delicious in Dungeon. That anime was so funny. It was so detailed visually. And the storytelling was just really interesting. And I really do recommend you guys try it for yourself. What character do I like to draw the most? So I stopped drawing, you know, since since the last 100 day drawing video. I didn't manage to keep that up for too long. Well, 20 days for me is still an achievement, to be honest. A character I love to draw the most are females. Very edgy females. So I like I did with the Jujutsu Kaisen video. So it'd have to be someone like that. I don't really have a set character I love to draw the most. It's just, I pick whatever I like at that moment and just draw it. All right, the final question. Fern, smash or pass? I will give Fern a um, a solid smash. Uh, she's got the big melons. She's got that purple hair, the, the edgy look on her face. She's very grounded as a character. You know, it's a clear smash for me. Ryoshi the Fool asks, once again, three questions. What's your favorite childhood game and genre? What's your goals both in real life and YouTube? And lastly, why are you such an underrated YouTuber? Very important questions that we do need to be answering. So, childhood game and genre. My fav favorite childhood game is called Iron Ninja. I have covered it on a pa on the channel before when I did a childhood game kind of series. Um, the reason why that game is my favorite is because it's just such a unique game that no one has ever heard of before. And it's honestly such a well-made game. Like, I Ninja, I, I revisit, like, every so often just so that I can, I can re-experience that childhood again. So my goals in real life and YouTube. In real life, at the moment, I plan on getting a bit more fit a bit more health, healthy, a bit more active uh, as time goes on. Um, obviously, being a YouTuber means I sit a lot at the desk. So I need to kind of balance that out and get my health sorted out. So that's my current goal when it comes to real life. My goal in YouTube, though, I mean, my next goal in YouTube is probably 25K. If we can hit that, that would be phenomenal. Phenomenal, to say the least. I, I, I don't... I don't know what to say. Like, my goal in YouTube is to provide you guys with the best entertainment, uh, to get even better at editing, um, to learn more about what I'm doing. Um, I always try to learn more and more about how to make videos more interesting or better. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Why am I such an underrated YouTuber? Because YouTube, YouTube's algorithm is not very good at the moment. Uh, they've really updated it and it kind of ruined a lot of the platform for me. So that's probably why, first and foremost, my videos, some of my videos don't get views. Some of it, my videos do get views is because YouTube's just a broken platform in general. All right, so here you go. PF Assault. So Fassault is the way I'm going to say that. Will you ever try to make polo designs? Because I saw you were good at drawing. Polo designs do sound like a fun video that I want to get to at some point. I just can't tell you when because, again, I'm sticking to a current schedule that works for me. Like Monday, 
We have a stream upload Wednesday. We have Incredibox, and on Friday we have anything else. So like gaming, um, a gaming series or a reaction series or anything like that. So I might, I might do polar designs in the future, like as a one-off video, but I can't, again, I can't guarantee it because of the way we're going forward right now. Lauf6586 uh, says, what type of YouTube video do you plan to do? How is your life going? Which is kind of similar to what Half and uh, Ryoshi were talking about, but again, the YouTube video direction I want to go to is horror and my life. Uh, I think it's going well so far. I think it's going well. The only thing that could improve is probably the finances. Um, I, YouTube doesn't pay me an, more enough to make a living. So that would, that would be awesome if that ever did happen. Jacob Smith 2160 asks, what are some of your real life favorite songs? Again, at the moment, I like very slow, ambienty, depressing music. What the genre is, I can't really tell you. I listen to a lot of TV Girl, if you guys know what that band is. Um, again, I have Spotify open here, so I can just tell you guys. I love Mother Mother, you know, um, Hayloft, uh, Anna, Oh Anna. Again, Wildflower by Billie Eilish as of recent. I love The Girl in Red as well, so actually, yeah, that probably is uh, what I'm going to go with. So We Fell in Love in October is probably my favorite song. Um, as of recent times, that shit I just put on repeat. I also listen to a lot of anime openings that I like, but I'm going to say the girl in red for sure. For sure. She is, uh, she is popping off right now. Lego Swamper 190. What's your favorite series you've done on YouTube? The favorite series that I have ever done on YouTube is hands down between Little Nightmares, because... We all know how much I love Little Nightmares and the Visage series. When I first did Visage, I, I've i never played the game before. So I was going into it blind. Same with Little Nightmares, but Visage just has this realistic vibe that I've never experienced in any other horror game. And has very unique stress mechanics where if you are in the dark, your paranoia will increase to the point where you start seeing visions, you start seeing ghosts, and they just start attacking you and kill you. But again, Little Nightmares also has this charm where, like, you feel you're such a small and meaningless character in an otherwise insanely big world that you have to survive in, where you're, you're pretty much at the bottom of the food chain in that game. So it, it, both of those are probably my favorite series that I've, I have ever done on this channel. And I definitely recommend you to check them out because I might revisit them at some point. Okay, so Cheers Burgers 2.0 and Matthew Lopez ask, name five Incredibox mods which are your favorites. Number one. I mean, as the time of recording this video, I've already done Spongle, so we're going to go from there. So, number one, last day. I think that will be always my utmost favorite mod. And I might say Travis, because I really um, messed with Travis. Uh, the masks I also thoroughly enjoyed. Um, the jazz-themed one, which one was that? Beatnik? Beatnik is definitely in the top five. And then, wait, um, wait it's not a mod, really. And then Void, maybe? I might put Void in my fifth spot, actually. There's so many good mods out there that it's so hard to put a finger on, but I think those are the five that I would definitely go for. Ty Loves Weed Cat asks, how do you make your thumbnails so good? And how do you grow a beard? Because I want one too, lol. So I make my thumbnails in a program called Photoshop. I recommend anyone who wants to get into YouTube or any sort of design work to Definitely get your hands on Photoshop in any way you can. The reason why I make them so good is because I used to be a designer as well. So um, before I started YouTube, I did a lot of graphics work on the side, like animations, logos, all of that stuff. And then I took those skills and I simply just took them to YouTube. And how do you grow a beard? You basically just need a bunch of testosterone in your body 
so that your hair just grows very quickly. And I noticed uh, when I was younger and I was growing my first beard, the moment you shave that first beard is the moment that beard grows back faster and faster each time. I don't know how it works. D biology, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Phoenix Animation 1900 asks, why do you choose horror content to film or those type of games? How'd you learn to edit so well? Who's your main inspiration from YouTube? Okay, so here we go. I chose horror content because again, I love the adrenaline rush I get when I'm in an intense moment and my heart's beating very fast and I'm terrified to bits. Um, and honestly, that is the main reason that I love doing it because it just feels so, it makes you feel so alive, you know, when you're in an intense moment. And I learned to edit so well as time went on. Honestly, I've been doing YouTube for almost four years now, probably four years now. So as time went on, I, I obviously just kept learning, picking up new skills, learning about how to use my equipment, um, learning how to edit new techniques, um, all sorts, all sorts. And that just kind of progresses, progresses as the channel grew. Still, did you know, creators can evolve with their channels. <laughs> Who's my main inspiration from YouTube? At first, my very big inspiration from YouTube was definitely Markiplier. I love the guy's videos quality. I love the interaction he has with his editor, Lixion. Um, they have a really good synergy together. And I really envy that. I really envy that. And I hope to get there someday as well. And kind of branch off and add my own stuff to that if I can. Just for life 981 asks, how many languages do you speak? I speak two languages, two main languages. So I'm a polyglot. I speak Polish at home. <coughs> Pardon me. I speak Polish at home to my parents and I speak English as well as you can hear now. Dzień dobry, mam na imię Nori plays. Teraz nagrywam filmik z YouTube. If you want your proof. Johnny Test Fam. What was the thing that started your Incredibox based content? So again, I'm probably not going to answer that because I've already answered that. Considering how it's smaller than most games. Again, I show speed and all that good stuff. Packs for the win underscore YouTube poop. I assume that me, that stands for. Do you like eggs or do you like bacon? No, I totally didn't copy the example, dude. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you totally didn't, huh? So I like bacon more than I like eggs, if I had to say. I just love the saltiness of bacon. I love the juicy meat. One dude, 1389 asks, riddle me this. Who out of all these commenters you think is truly the dude? The one dude. And do you like waffles? Waffles I like. Uh, if they're done very right. So a lot of fruit on the side and probably ice cream and whatnot. You know, you need that good mix with waffles because otherwise they taste disgusting in my opinion. I wouldn't eat waffles by themselves. Who could the one dude be apart from the one dude 1389? Matthew Lopez asks again. What? When did you start wanting to make videos? How old are you and where are you from? I wanted to start making videos uh, right after I left college or even during college, actually. So I was doing graphic design at school. I was doing art at school and I was doing um, computer science, which is like programming and all that good stuff. After a while, I realized design, I kind of want to use it in a more meaningful way. And I noticed YouTube is an always growing platform. So I dived right in then and there. Uh, not knowing a whole lot about how to make good videos. So honestly, I just didn't care. I just uploaded whatever the hell I wanted at the time. When I decided to go serious was quite recently, actually. Because I decided to, you know what? I'm going to finally make a schedule and I'm just going to stick to it. Because for the longest time, for over those four years, I'm pretty sure three of those years was of me kind of doing content on and off. Like there were bits where I would upload content every day and then I would burn out and then there'd be a long break and then I'd come back and upload like once every ev every other day and then it, it was a mess. It was a mess and only recently have I really picked up a schedule and just stuck to it and just kept going. How old am I though? 
I am going to be 24 this year in December 8th. So I'm currently 23. Born in 2000. Very nice, even number. And I'm from the UK. And that leads us to the final question from a dude from somewhere. And he asks, where did you come up with the name Nori and what's your favorite game? I came up with the name Nori, honestly, by taking my first name, which is Norbert, N-O-R-B-E-R-T. Then just taking the Nor part of that name and then kind of adding a letter to it. Nori sounded cool. I just added an I at the end. And, I, and little did I know, Nori actually bloody means seaweed in Japanese. It's the stuff that goes on your sushi. Which is an interesting fact. Nori also apparently means light in, um, is it in uh, Bangladeshi or whatever, the, like, Hindi? Which was also interesting to find out. Again, I didn't intend for it to be that way, but that's cool that it did. My favorite game at the moment, my favorite game at the moment has been Ghost of Tsushima recently. My favorite game of all time, again, has to be Visage because of that that intense horror experience that I've never experienced before. Like I've, this is coming from someone who has played Outlast, who has played all these horror games, but Visage is just such a unique game when it comes to the genre that it's just like, it's pretty mind blowing, the experience. Although I did need to use a walkthrough here and there to even complete the game. Okay, so that wraps up all of the questions. A, b a bit of a side note from me, um, I'm thinking about doing a setup tour and a giveaway at some point. So as always, comment down below with what you want to see. If you would want to see the setup tour and if you would want to see a giveaway on the channel. Because as always, I want to give back to all of you guys that want to help and support the channel. I just don't know what to give away. I was thinking Discord Nitro, but again, you guys just let me know what you think about that. But yeah, 10,000 people once again. <laughs> It's a, it's a mind blowing number of people that I can't even comprehend. And that number is only going to keep increasing. Hopefully we get to a hundred K one day. Hopefully we get to a hundred K one day. But apart from that, this is me signing off. My name has been Nori plays and I hope you guys stick with me for the rest of the journey. Apart from that, I'll see all of you guys in next week's video. Peace out.